OE Beast. So we're talking about how to get our dog familiar with the grinder. And the first step is introducing them to the grinder. We tried this, she hated it. So we're gonna show you uh, how we started to acclimate her to be okay with the grinder. So when you have your breakfast, you're just gonna, or it's meal time, put the grinder in the front, on the sides, and then we're gonna feed her a little. Just have her eat by the grinder. Daisy? Okay. And you're gonna do this until she's really comfortable being around the grinder. Okay. It's really important to keep practicing with the grinder on all sides, wrapped, unwrapped, until they start to feel really comfortable and it doesn't bother them at all. Okay, Dizzy. And then we'll progress to the next step where we're gonna turn the grinder on for really short bits of time until they get comfortable with it being on also. And if ever they're uncomfortable with it again, then you go back to the step and just get them comfortable with it being off next to their food bowl. When you start practicing with having it on next to them, I just turn the grinder on, always on low, and then I'm gonna be at the outlet plugging it in and out while she's eating. And you're just gonna start with one second and then let her eat the rest. And you'll gradually work up to a few seconds on and off, on and off. And you're just gonna gauge her comfort level. When they're, all, when they're uncomfortable, always go back a step. Okay, Daisy. Okay. Daisy, super. After you've managed or mastered the few seconds with pulsing it on and off, you're gonna try to progress to have it on the whole time. And remember, if they ever do get uncomfortable, just take a step backwards. Okay, Daisy. Okay. So I'm gonna keep it on the whole time. Make sure I put it next to the bowl so it's shaking the bowl a little. While we're practicing introducing her to the grinder, it's also really important that you get them used to touching and handling their feet. So I always have some of her food left over so she's good and hungry. And I have some high reward treats as well. No, leave it. So she knows what's on the table for this negotiation. I'm just gonna start out by grabbing their whole foot. Good girl, I'm doing lots of praise and rewards. Super, good girl, awesome. And then you're gonna wanna grab the back feet also. Just start out with just with grabbing the whole foot. Good girl, Daisy, good girl. And you're just gonna keep doing only the whole foot until they get really good with that. Good girl, awesome. And after they're doing really good with grabbing the whole foot, you're gonna slowly work on going in between their toes and manipulating between their toes. Good girl, super. Good job, can I get between those toes? Good girl, and when they pull away like that, I try to keep my hand with them. I don't wanna force it, but I also want her to know that I'm done when I'm done, not when she wants me to be done. Good job. Good girl, and you're just gonna keep progressing with that. If you hit a wall, make sure you go backwards and just do the outside of the toes. Good job. Good girl. All right, and once we've progressed where you're able to touch all of her toes and touch her toenails and manipulate them, good job. Then we're ready for the next step, which is tapping. Good girl. Good job. So when we're ready to start the tapping, uh, always make sure you have some food and some high reward treats. Cause that's what it's all about, that and some praise. And I just have a nail file, uh-uh, and a marker. 
So for the topping, first just try with your finger. But this is gonna get them desensitized. Good girl. Super, good job. Good, you just wanna make sure you're able to tap all of those little nails. Good job. Okay, and you're just gonna grab some random objects. Good girl, super. I just tap a toe and then give a reward. Good job. Super, good job. I find some strange objects to use too, just so the fear is gone. Good job. This one makes a little noise too, that's awesome. Good job, the whole hand, good. And if your dog's anything like ours, it took us quite some time, I'd say maybe a week of tapping the toes with just our hands before we were able to progress to the scary things. These are the clippers that we used and cut her nails too short once when she was a puppy, which is why we had to go through this extreme process to desensitize her to the grinder. So then you're gonna take the nail clipper and you're gonna reward her for each tap that you could do on her nails. Good job. Super, good job. Just wanna keep always touching them and reward. Good job. Awesome, and I can't explain it enough how far she's come. It's taken a lot of work, but she's here now. Good job. And after you've mastered the clippers and all sorts of different objects in your fingers, we're going to move on to the final product, which she's now comfortable with next to her food bowl being turned on the whole time. Leave it. And now we're just going to practice tapping it. It's off. The cord's wrapped up. Good job. And I make sure it makes a little sound and has a little pressure when I'm tapping on it. Good job, super. I'm gonna go to the back foot and try to work back there. All right. Good job, Daisy. Yeah. Good work. All right, so once we've mastered tapping it while off, then we're just gonna practice a little bit with turning it on next to them and then tapping after. So it looks something like this. Good girl. Turn it on, turn it off, and tap. Good girl. And you literally reward for each toe. Turn it on, turn it off, tap. Good job. And after we've mastered that, then you're gonna move forward. And please keep in mind, anytime you have a step backwards, that's totally normal, but you're gonna need to take it back a step also. So we've mastered now turning it on and off and then tapping. So now we're going to try to turn it on and tap with it on. And I'm not going to actually grind. I'm just going to tap. You ready, Daisy? And it makes that little noise. Good girl. You can do that for each toe and give a nice reward. Good job. Super. Good job, Daisy. All right, and once you have mastered turning it on and tapping, then you're gonna actually start grinding. Just a second at a time, just a little, little quick grind at a time, but make sure you're still rewarding after each toe. Good job, Daisy. And to see where we're at now and how we're going about grinding, uh, check out our part two. We wish you much luck and lots of patience. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video! Please don't forget to like and subscribe!